Oh no, this, this is Gran Turismo. Anyway, well you get the gist. The audio doesn't work. As we come into turn one very quickly, the Spaniard is going to come out of absolutely nowhere, cause absolute chaos, and punt an, well, an unsuspecting victim into the wall. And I've gained a couple of positions. Now, yes, I've recorded this. For some reason, my PC was playing up, so there's no game audio. I hope you like my little impression at the start there. It would be a bit tricky for me to keep it up for this entire video, about 15 minutes, but... You're gonna have to make do with no sound and maybe some music but anyway or just you know the sweet soothing voice of super gt that that's gonna to have to do for today and yeah we're back on gran turismo as you can see here i'm in the audi we're in uh, group three and i'm in the audi which isn't really one of the better cars it is german at least because every single car pretty much here apart from one aston i think is german pretty much everyone's in a german car the Porsche and the BMW seem to be the really quick ones. Now I started just outside the top 10, up into 8th already, a bit of fighting behind and I've got a big gap ahead now. The Porsche RSR seems to be the really quick car along with the BMW M6, um, neither of which I'm driving, I'm driving this, the Audi which seems a bit tricky on a corner exit and you see they're using one traction control. So welcome back to Gran Turismo, it's been a while as we have a yellow flag. Who's that? It's one of the leaders. Actually, both of the leaders. The Spaniard and the Frenchman in the BMW there. Uh, some sort of incident between the two of them. And that's resulted in them both of them losing out. So they couldn't quite settle their differences. They both lost out massively. I'm up into sixth position. I've gone up five on lap one. Now that is pretty good. Three of those places were pretty much from that suicidal Spaniard at turn one. But, you know, I'll take them as they come. Another, another Spaniard. This time in an Aston Martin, pretty much the only non-German car in the race. And uh, he's trying to go for a bit of grass cutting. And he goes down a position up to fifth. I don't know how this has happened. It's quite scary because in these races, it's 10 laps you can see there. We have qualifying beforehand. And, well, I qualified 11th. So I'm up in fifth place. So I'm well above where I really ought to be. And I'm going to have a stream of really quick people on my tail, presumably very soon, unless they start fighting with each other, which could happen. It's a definite possibility. So Maggiore, very, very cool track, actually. It's a fairly tricky one to master, especially corners like that one. Up into fourth. We are just making the most out of everyone's mistakes right now. Everyone's crashing left, right and centre and up and down. And I found myself in fourth, not really through any full-on overtakes, just really capitalising on everyone else's misfortunes and errors. Fourth place then. This is really where we have to really make the most of our position, really just hammer, get the hammer down. And you can see here, this is lap number three then. So onto this back straight once again. The gap ahead has got a bit bigger. You see there, a couple of seconds now at least. And the fast guys are going to start finding their way through. So the the first Spaniard in the BMW is going to come through. Not really much I could do about that move. I just simply did not have the straight line speed to compete against that. He would have had a bit of slipstream as well. So that's one BMW through. We have the Frenchman behind us who span on this corner on lap one. Also to come through. Well, presumably come through because... Uh, you know, I could just defend for the next seven laps and keep him behind, you never know. So, this uh, Spaniard is going to go in very early into the second to last corner. And uh, I'm going to have to go to the outside here. It's not going to work. Not going to give me a good line into the final corner, which is here. In we go. Now, the Frenchman is just going to give me a nice little nudge wide and then overtake me. Thank you very much for that. It's always good to know that the fast guys are always clean. Not. Anyway. Over the line we go, hopefully these two will implode once again, kill each other, murder each other at turn one. Is it going to happen? Not quite. I get a bit of a slide on as we go through the apex of one into two, the slowest corner on the track. Roll it through there. Tricky on traction. The Spaniard having a nightmare uh, controlling his car. 
perhaps on a low traction control setting I changed mine up to two for this section of the track and then put it back down to one in just a moment we'll give him a nudge there you see I got a good exit but then we're gonna see exactly how good that BMW is so that he just pulls away by maybe a car length compared to me so uh, that car very strong into the wall Bonk. Now there's my awful sound effects, but that really highlights just how bad that crash was. Rookie error, really, and this put me, this could not have been worse, this put me right in the middle of this massive battle for what is seventh position. A couple of Porsches here, German, uh, with a little nudge, even a bloody uh, Beetle's going to try and come through and overtake me. I suppose you could call them all Beetles here. There are Porsches just up ahead, if that's your thing, but... Um, the actual beetle there, VW beetle, is going to try to get in on get in on the act. Try to get past me. Not quite having it here. I'm going to go slightly defensive, but then uh, just regain the normal uh, racing line into the amazingly banked corner. Look at this. This is a brilliant corner. We're through there, okay? Actually, no, we're not on the exit. Running slightly wide onto the gravel. It's going to slow us down and let the Dutchman through into ninth. So I'm on the edge of the top ten. I'm in the top half of the pack, and the Bentley, sorry, the Bentley, the uh, the Beetle, even, is going to go very uh, wide on the exit there, uh, lose a bit of speed, and I'm through. You see there, again, once again, the uh, rear end of the car sliding out, very happy to do so, and then again, a little bit of a slide into the final corner, ninth place, so still, I'm in, I'm in a higher position than I am qualified, but I really have thrown away what might have been a top six or seven at this point. So this is uh, now lap number five. And you can see here, just, just not really driving all that well. You see the two cars, uh, two cars ahead uh, in the Porsches. And I, I think I was just trying a little bit too hard to uh, keep up with them. You see they get a penalty, a silly penalty really, because I was going so wide and I, slow, I, I lost time there, 100%. And it just slapped me with a penalty just to rub it in even more into the banked corner the, the beetle taking that very wide but uh, he's okay now coming through the uh, exit of the final turn lap five pretty much everyone dived into the pits now this was something i was completely unprepared for I, I was not expecting that at all i haven't done any pit stops in any of these online races yet so i just drove past and i now have to deal with awful tires for this entire lap you see there just sliding out massively on the exit of turn two. First and second up ahead, they have that's how far ahead they were. They've taken their pit stop and they still got out ahead of me. So I'm, I'm way down here on the exit of turn four, coming down the hill towards, this is for me one of the harder corners on the track. Got a very weird uh, turning entry. It's quite a hard one to get right on the brakes. And it's quite a hard one to judge on the exit as well to maximize it completely. So you see here that the cars, the fast guys, are really queuing up to get past me. I don't think this Audi quite has the speed compared to the Porsche and the BMW, as I've mentioned earlier. Hence why no one else has chosen this car, I suppose. I get that completely wrong. I tried to bail out, just let them go past. Don't really want to get in their way too much. Then again, I get slapped with a penalty, despite I was, the fact that I was trying to get out of the way, really. Oh well, it's going to go down by itself anyway. So, down into sixth place... Not too bad, but you know I still got to take my penalty. Uh, sorry, take my pit stop. Plenty of action up ahead. Three, three abreast going into the hairpin here, and we have a German off uh, in the Porsche. So I gain one position at least. Uh, now coming into the pit stop. Now I've never done this before on this game, so I have no idea what I'm doing really. Um, I just about put in enough fuel, I think. So I, I, presumably I'm waiting for the bar to fill up just beyond well we've got to do four laps so just beyond that line there we go that, that'll be enough off we go so that should see me through to the end of the race well i hope it does if it doesn't that's pretty stupid or i've just completely misjudged it we'll find out i guess so lap seven we've got four laps to go or just under four laps i'm in 12th place not amazing lower than where i qualified so plenty of work to do from here to the end and the car immediately feels better. You see they're just actually hitting an apex for once and not sliding out like a maniac on the exit. So then trying to reel in the Spaniard in the Beetle and then coming up the hill then into the the S's, as I, as they, as I like to call them. He's going to get a poor run on the exit on the last part of the S's. 
and it's going to give me the invitation to go up the inside into this chicane here onto the back straight so that's 11th place retaken so we've got uh, three and a half laps here to try to catch up you see as I cross the line you see the gap to the guy ahead in the beetle I gained one position from a guy in the pits quite a big gap here to try and reel in but it's a good challenge I'm going to try to nail a decent lap here on lap number eight and try to uh, catch up and get further up so this is lap, uh, lap number nine and you see the gap is slowly coming down lap eight was my fastest lap so far you can see on the right hand side there 57.9 my best so far which is good news and I'm taking chunks out of this guy I've basically turned into jaws right now because the chunks are coming out of him and that gap's come down from about three seconds at the start of lap eight to now under one second so two seconds gained in a rather quick succession here and now the Dutchman in the beetle is going to come under pressure as we come into the final stages of the race lap number nine only about a lap and a half to go here at Maggiore now through the S's he's uh, all over the place there really he might have some damage because I'm very easily catching up here in the slipstream perhaps that slipstream is very strong down the hill into the banked corner the epic banked corner he goes very wide once again we've seen him take that line a couple of times before it's not going to help him a little bit wide on the exit will slow me down but it's not enough for the beetle to retake the position so ninth place now can we go about catching up with the german up ahead and getting one more position that would be pretty nice so so far the race has been absolutely up and down all over the place it really has gone um it, it, i mean all, all sorts of emotions really happy at the beginning to go up into fourth but then massive disappointment to spin and then go back down to 12 after the pit stop so now there's this massive piece of writing in my way which is really annoying 1.2 laps left of fuel and i would have thought they would go away once i've gone past the pit stop or pit lane but no it's just going to stay there in exactly my line of sight for this entire lap and try to really put me off so now i have the added challenge of trying to negotiate this stupid piece of writing in the middle of the screen while i drive this high powered performance audi around at over 100 miles an hour scary stuff but you can see here not really doing too much negatively to me because i am actually now on the back of this german in the porsche so coming down to my nemesis corner can i get it right and really try to put some uh, even more pressure on this guy because perhaps at the end of the races if you start getting up very close to someone they they know what they know what's going on they know it's the end of the race perhaps that pressure knowing that they are getting there very close to the end with someone right in their tail uh, could uh, could force them into a mistake we'll see if that happens he actually he's actually had a very good run through that sequence there onto the back straight i'm going to tuck into that slipstream as much as possible it probably won't have a massive impact from this distance perhaps a little bit too far away to really get the full benefit you see we've actually been slowly gaining on the frenchman up ahead as well these are the two guys i was really trying to push to gain gain on around about lap four or five and i made that mistake on the exit of the s's but you see here i've actually put in some good laps the last couple of laps are, have been a lot more solid compared to my early laps where i was lapping over two minutes a lot of the time so um it, it turns out once i've really practiced the car then i got a lot better but you see here it's actually going to tighten up massively he's had a huge error and i'm just going to try and force my way in there not quite going to happen so he's going to cover the inside line, fair enough. I'm going to go and take the outside line and really push him all the way around. And this, this is going to be a tight exit because I've just about got the run. It's a drag race to the line. The Frenchman is slowing down up into seventh on the line. Two positions between the last corner and the finish line from ninth to seventh in the last five seconds of that race. Quite incredible stuff. You see that the Vito advantage in sixth place, but pretty much every car... Yes, every other car on that board is a German car. So Group 3 dominated by the Germans. But that was an absolutely spectacular race. I do apologise that there was no proper audio. My crappy sound effects will have to do. But that race, I pretty much had to bring it to you because it was so good. And really enjoyable, even though I only finished 7th. You see they gained, uh, seven, uh, gained, gained 3 positions. So I didn't start 11th, I started 10th, sorry. But still, a really enjoyable race good fun and perhaps I will never use that Audi again in group 3 because 
I obviously need to use that Porsche or the the BMW. But there we go, guys. A bit more Gran Turismo action for you. I do hope you enjoyed it as always. Uh, do subscribe for more of the same. And obviously hit the like button if you enjoyed it. I shall see you next time. Thank you very much for watching as always. Goodbye.